Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another Problem Solved. I got my MTD 638RL. I got the deck lowered all the way down. I'm going to replace the springs on the deck. Um, the deck's, again, all, way, all the way in the uh, lowest position. It's actually resting on the ground. I got the blades disengaged. I'm on the right side of the machine if you were sitting on it. And uh, I'm just showing you here how... The mechanism works that large spring there at the top of the screen that's attached to the uh, lever that engages the blades uh, so when you push that down it actually applies tension on that spring it pulls these pulleys backwards into place um, at the same time it pulls the brake lever the brake pads away so it applies the tension onto the uh, belt from the pulleys and the brakes simultaneously pull away from the pulleys um, so I originally thought my main issue was the springs it turns out they weren't actually that bad but my brake pads are worn to the point where uh, they need to be replaced and the machine's so old I can't find replacement parts the one brake I could find it's about 80 bucks uh, I wasn't really looking to replace it uh, for that amount of money at this point in time uh, but I'll probably do another video at some point with that if I can figure out another way to just replace the pad on the other side I'll go ahead and do a video on that as well um, we're looking at the replacement parts I got I got an Oregon uh, for the one spring that large one there on the on the uh, left side if you're sitting on the machine and that's the longer thinner one that would be on the right side of the machine um, if you're sitting on it and uh, that's it there and I'll try and put the part numbers uh, the OEM part numbers um, into the comment section of the video this is a trick use a weed whacker line uh, probably about 12 18 inches um, this works great I saw it on another video I use it constantly now on springs very simple wrap it around thread it through the hole and uh, apply pressure you should have safety goggles on of course if you're working with springs um, it's really straightforward you could see where the springs attach I always take a picture or a video before I work on anything now you can always refer back to it um, so right now we're looking at uh, the one large spring I got the one side off the other side uh, is a little tricky again this is I'm in like looking the camera is looking at from the front of the tractor and I'm on the left side if you were sitting on it um, so I just took the old spring out I matched up the shape of the spring uh, with the replacement and um, you know got it oriented in the right uh, way always put it back uh, or replace something the same way as the uh, original equipment came off um, again it was a little bit of a pain to wiggle it in place uh, I apologize some of the video is looks like it's cut I know I do get uh, the shot of it going actually into the hole um, but with one hand the way I had to you know record it and try and work on it it's uh, not always easy um, I try and get clear videos for you guys um, it's not always easy to tell where you know the video is being taken um, but if you get under the machine on the left side of the deck um, you know as if you were sitting on it you can very easily see how it goes and where it's positioned it's very easy to get to you don't have to take the deck off of the machine uh, and that spring's done that's it for that one um, and again this one pulls the brake towards the pulley it keeps the brake on the pulley unless you engage the blades. Once the blades are engaged, the spring uh, is pulled with tension and pulls the brake lever or the brake pad, I'm sorry, away. Now I'm on the right side if you were sitting on the tractor. Um, this is the right side spring. It controls the brake pad on uh, you know, the right side. As you can see, mine is worn down uh, quite a bit. So the hole there is on the bottom by the cotter pin. Um, you can see 
me disengage the spring from it. Uh, you just got to wiggle it out of the hole. It's a small hole, but it's fairly simple to do. So we got the one side of the spring out of the hole. The other side's got to come off that post there. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I got the new spring inserted into the hole by the cotter pin on the bottom of the brake uh, pad level there. And the other side is positioned waiting for the weed whacker string uh, to pull it over that post, that bolt there. I'll do that now. Now we just grab our weed whacker line with the new spring in place. Um, I looped it into the hole on the far side first because that was more difficult to get to and it's easy to pull the spring around this pin or this bolt which keeps it in place. And then you simply remove the weed whacker string eater however you want to call it and that's all to it another problem solved hope you enjoyed this video and as always don't forget to pound that subscribe button see you next time